rage, sadness, pain, joy, all these can make someone cry. But crying during or after intercourse? Now that's a cry that needs looking into. And believe you me, there is a whole lot involved. Welcome to Lex Apart, where we talk about the joy, the pain, the plague, the gain, unforeseen circumstances, emotions that come alive when legs come apart. I'm Mr. Nelly, your host. I don't know if you've seen my previous videos on Lex Apart series, especially orgasm side effects, which actually is preceding this very video. If you have, I'm sure you will understand the reason why we are taking these orgasm side effects one after the other because from what I found after my research I believe it's so important to break it all down but if you haven't you might want to check out down below but in the meantime let's get this our sex crime business started postcoital dysphoria PCD also known as postcoital Tritis, PCT, some call it post-sex blues, is a condition that can cause feelings of sadness, agitation, and crying after intercourse. It can also cause feelings of anxiety. A PCD can last any time from 5 minutes to 2 hours, and it can happen with or without orgasm. Even though much research has not been done concerning these negative feelings after or during sex which makes you cry, it doesn't change the fact that it's somewhat common. But not all crying during or after intercourse is as a result of postcoital dysphoria, which occurs more in women than men. Now let's take a look at some of these causes. Even though much research has not been done concerning postcoital dysphoria, however, scientists believe multiple factors lead to these feelings. For instance, abuse. It can be a physical or emotional abuse. If you experience sexual assault as a teenager or even as an adult, there are certain ways of being touched or positions, even words, during or after intercourse can trigger these feelings and before you know it, tears start dropping. And from my research, I gather that history of abuse can also make you feel resentful about sex. You probably want to be in control all the time, pointing out your wants and needs. These attitudes can possibly annoy your partner. Orgasms comes with the release of hormones. Even when you're having sex, a number of different hormones surge through your body. Cumulatively, these hormones can cause some pretty intense emotions. And when you're done having sex, these hormone levels drop. And these can also cause some unexpected emotions like anxiety. Many researchers think these hormonal fluctuations could play a role in causing postcoital dysphoria (PCD). Now, this PCD doesn't refer to sexual assault. It's a term only used to describe feelings during or after intercourse, whether pleasurable or not. Hormonal fluctuations can also cause postnatal depression, a depression that happens shortly after childbirth. Now, women with postnatal depression are also more likely to experience PCD. That's a topic for another day. Let's continue. Worries about relationship like unresolved issues coupled with hormone surges during a sexual encounter can make you feel overwhelmed and in return bring these negative feelings. For instance, not having much history with your partner all that uncertainty and newness can bring up feelings of anxiety and it's also important to know that intimacy and closeness in relationship are not necessarily major factors in postcoital dysphoria. There is no study about that. You may be in a healthy, intimate relationship but still feel sad or anxious and cry sometimes during or after sex. complexity of feelings and anxieties around sex is another factor that contributes to 
these negative feelings like having a particular pattern or idea construed in your head maybe you are worried about your ability to perform or what it should be like you know guilt shame all these feelings are incredibly common and they can easily lead to anxiety during or after sexual encounter I had a neighbor that told me he hadn't had an erection in six months and I was like have you seen a doctor about this he smiled this man's business kind of collapsed a little over a year before we had that conversation. If you have a lot going on in your life, you are anxious, always stressed, you know, things that can be hard to really put aside. Studies have shown that these and other psychological distress may account for more people experiencing postcoital dysphoria, although underlying causes of PCD are not known. I believe a problem discovered and shared with the right person is half solved. The truth is you are not alone if you find yourself in any of the situations mentioned above. You should talk to your doctor about these feelings. You can also see a psychotherapist for the treatment of postcoital dysphoria. They can help you overcome these feelings and traumas. It's also good to talk to your partner about these feelings. Having an open conversation might also help you walk through these feelings, especially when you are in a safe, intimate relationship. This is very important. I hope this video was helpful. Drop your comments below and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, then press the bell for more videos on Lexapart. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now.